so I just wanted to uh, give you a little update. I'm sorry I haven't posted in uh, in a few days. Um, I did actually post on my other channel uh, about my awesome aunt's wedding. So if you want to see that, just make sure you click on the link below for my second channel. But the reason why I haven't really been posting, there's just been an awful lot going on. Um, first I was sick, then my back went out, and then Irma. Um, so... I have off today, and um, although I did do a lot of things today, I've really just been watching it, and I'm really hopeful that Irma won't come near us, um, but the governor just called out a state of emergency, so um, I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to know more by Tuesday or Wednesday, but today at least I started stocking up, went to the store, got cases and cases of water. Um, doing laundry, doing things that I, I won't be able to do. If the power goes out in just a moment or two, I'm going to go uh, get some gas. And um, I do have to go to work tomorrow, so I'm trying to get in as much today as I possibly can, you know, make bags of ice and, you know, just, just, just prepare. Um, you know, often we hear there's going to be a big event, a big event, a big event, uh, and then usually nothing happens. But with what happened in Houston, you know, I, I really just kind of want to be prepared. So, so yeah, so I'm off to get gas and hopefully there won't be a line. All right, so I am just uh, pulling into the gas station and yeah, the line, there is a line. And I don't even know how to drive around here because there's a lot of traffic at this gas station. But traffic means they have gas and that is a good thing. All right, so I'm just at the gas station. It is um, starting to fill up here. I didn't have to wait too long to get gas, so I'm actually glad I came early. It's like you're over-preparing. Well, so uh, what exactly are you preparing for? Uh, I mean, what, well, are, do you have a generator? Yes, we have a okay. generator, so we're just making, we're hoping and praying that we don't get the storm, hoping it stays out to sea and no one gets the storm, but we're getting prepared. We picked up some water. And we're picking up some fuel for the generator. Okay, just you're lucky. You have a generator. I, I'm coming to your house oh yeah, after the storm. We, there was a run on everywhere. Nobody has water. I know, I heard, I heard. Out. I was lucky. I got it this morning, no, so no, I, no, I definitely no, lucked no, out. You can't. We got it this morning, too, but Home Depot's like I've heard, I've heard, it. yep. You know, I think because of Harvey. Absolutely. And, Houston, I mean, yeah. I th I've never actually seen Floridians no, no. jump into action no, 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 before never. we've even been told we've to. Been, you can hope and pray is that everybody's safe and it stays out by the sea and doesn't bother anybody. We pray. We awesome. hope. So, all right. Good luck, good, luck. good luck to you guys. Good luck. Yeah. You, all God. right. Stay safe. Stay so I'm, I'm filled up on gas. Um, and this is the only flashlight I can find. But I think it's like a tool holder or a drill holder or something. But it does have a, a light on the top. But this thing looks like it's from the 1980s and I really don't think it's going to work. So, I gotta come up with another plan. I'm gonna start making bags of ice. So, yeah, let's get it going. Oh man, this thing's heavy. Just trying to make some bags of ice. Maybe I should get the cooler and maybe start dumping it in the cooler. But no, actually, the cooler's not going to fit in the fridge. Never mind. Scratch. All right. First, let me apologize for the quality of this camera and microphone. Um, but just wanted to kind of give you a heads up on, on what I'm doing. So we got the laundry done so we can check that off. We got water. We can check that off. We got food. We can check that off. I didn't want to do it today, but I got gas so we could check that off. I'm pretty much set as far as um, my preps that I might need to do if um, Irma comes this way, but um, hopefully she won't. And the uh, only thing really I need to do is just take the screens out of the, the few windows that I have. Most of my windows, I'm pretty lucky, are um, hurricane proof. So, and my 
my building that I live in is like poured concrete. So I'm, I'm in basically like as best place as I could possibly be. Um, three story townhouse. I live on the second level mostly. So I'm in pretty good shape. Uh, so at this point, the governor just put out a state of emergency for the state of Florida. So at this point, it's just a wait and see, but I would definitely say that, um, that yeah, that we're, we're all prepared in Florida, or at least getting there. And, um, you know, hopefully nothing will happen, but um, wouldn't be the first time that a hurricane's come through here. So um, my lessons from Wilma with uh, three weeks of no electricity was do your laundry. That is like the number one for me other than water. Okay, get water, but make sure you do your laundry before the storm. That's like the absolute number one. And um, yeah, that, that's really it. And learn how to use a grill because that was actually my first experience having to use a grill on my own. So yeah, and it's a great way to meet your neighbors. So I guess you gotta look at the positive things, I guess. Um, so yeah, so good luck to all the Floridians out there. Houston, I'm thinking of you, and um, let's see what happens.